Frank is, first of all, just a phenomenon. He's published more than 400 manuscripts. He's brought in $27 million to the campus in grant funding. But I want to tell you about things that numbers can't. His job is more than just to find solutions to problems. It is to communicate those solutions to a wide audience and that's something that scientists in particular find difficult to do. But Frank does it not only very effectively, but with great enthusiasm. Years ago, I, I called Frank up and we had an insect that was on the, that we were finding on the blueberry barrens and we had no idea what it was. And Frank took a look at it and immediately knew that it was an insect, that there was a paper written about it in 1922. Frank's comment was, it's not a problem. To have that resource to be able to utilize at any time is just an incredible asset to us. Frank in some ways is the quintessential uh, University of Maine professor. Outstanding in his field in every sense of that uh, word. Blueberry growers uh, have saved and, and earned literally millions of dollars because of his uh, work on insects. Frank has an international reputation in his area of expertise and so he draws other experts to the university and he draws outstanding students who want to come study here. Frank is a passionate individual, um, he is a great professor and he's an even better mentor. Teaching you and talking to you like a colleague and never down to you. Frank is not afraid to get stung by honeybees whatsoever. One of the first interactions I had with Frank out in the field was him just sticking his hand into a colony of honeybees, teaching me how to lift up screens. And I was just shocked as he was getting stung, and he just went, oh, it's all right, it didn't hurt at all. And I was just sitting there like, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> There's a story about Frank. And it's a story about a blueberry farmer. She contacted him and said, I have a hive that had an aggressive queen. He knew the only way to solve the problem was to replace the queen, and he would have to do that at home. He didn't know where to put it, so he put it in the back of his car, suited up in a bee suit with the hive inside, and just drove. Wearing a bee suit the entire way. With a bunch of just bees flying in his car. And he, he was willing to do that for people. He's willing to go that extra mile with honeybees in the back of his car. <laughs> That's dedication. He is uh, low-key, uh, he is, there is not a uh, pompous bone in his body. Uh, he's uh, comfortable out in the field uh, with the farmers, uh, he's uh, comfortable in the classroom, he's extremely approachable, uh, he's uh, truly outstanding uh, in his discipline, but he's got that kind of humble uh, main style. Why does he do it? <laughs> because he can't help it. He really had vision, and, and that is one thing that makes Frank uh, incredible. He's energized uh, by the students, by their curiosity. He's not just the kind of professor to promise getting published, he's really the professor who says, let's go get published. I have never seen anybody so interested in everything and everybody. And that's Frank.